Welcome to Film My Run. I'm in High Peak in New Mills, uh, where I've stayed tonight because I am off to Sheffield today. Uh, because today, uh, my film about the Backyard Ultra in Suffolk uh, last year is being shown at the Sheffield Adventure Film Festival, where it has won Best Running Film. So, um, I'm going to go and watch the film uh, with whoever else turns up at the cinema, um, and then we'll see what happens for the rest of the weekend. So here we are in Sheffield outside the showroom cinema uh, where the Sheffield Adventure Film Festival is hosting all its films uh, and so we're going to go in and watch a film I made. There are actually two versions of the film, uh, one is called 81 Yards which is a, a, a longer version uh, but the shorter version is called Going the Extra Yard uh, and that's the one that's won uh, the best running film here at the Sheffield Adventure Film Festival. So the film festival runs from Friday through to Sunday um, and they're showing, there's loads of different films on um, and, and loads of different winners of different categories. So best overall film, best activism film, best bike film, climbing film, uh, best film made in Sheffield, best running film, I wonder who won that one, uh, best short film, skiing, best sound, Best Spirit of Adventure, Best Women in Adventure, and then Judges Special Mention. So we're just going to go in to this cinema here. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the history of uh, Sheffield Adventure Film Festival. Gosh, yeah, 17 years. Um, yeah, I started out just doing some in film nights. I think I went up to Kendall Mount Festival, which was the Kendall Mount Film Festival back then. And I kind of liked the films and spoke to them up there and said, how can I show some of those films yeah, to people where I live? So we got into a little relationship there and we were renting films from them. And then uh, they were going really well. We're here in the showroom. It, that is the venue. So showroom is... It's the biggest independent cinema outside of London. It still is. It was back then. Wow. Um, it's a four-screen independent cinema, um, right in the heart of Sheffield. Um, so, yeah, the manager and I sat down and said, we've been doing these film nights and they've been selling out to kind of capacity crowds here in Sheffield. Let, let's take it up a step and, and, and have a weekend of it and call it a festival. How has the festival coped with the rise of social media and... So one of the arguments that we kind of that we that we push is that you're coming down here to watch these films on a big screen, not on a cracked phone screen. That's why I'm here yeah. because I wanted to see it on a larger screen because I've never seen it on a well, big screen. Well, it's not just about the screen though, but you've also never seen it in a room full of people. How many films do you get submitted each year? Um, it varies, but anything between two and four hundred. Yeah. Um, but submitted, I actually go out and source a lot of them as well. So right. Um, you know, you literally, you get, you know, staff picks on Vimeo, turns up some great ones. And I've got a little army of, of over the years, built up an army of followers and friends and helpers who just kind of send oh, me Have you seen this one? Have you seen this yeah. one? And, and as, a, as a curator, you're really pleased when you find one that basically that's not, that's not been seen particularly widely, you know. It's, very, it's, it's really easy to go onto the Red Bull channel and think, right, let's look at the, the films from the past year that have had the most views. That, that's, that's kind of, anyone can do that. Um, but yeah, the really good ones, where you find a little gem that's maybe only had like 150 views on, on YouTube because they're a great filmmaker, but haven't necessarily got the following. What are the films that attract the, the biggest audiences? What are the most popular types of films that you get here? It, 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 it kind of, it changes over the years. I don't really understand it. Um, traditionally, adrenaline films is always really popular. We put it on on a Friday night and a Saturday night and um, it's basically it's an opportunity to sit in a big screen with a big sound system and watch a dozen or more short punchy eye candy films and people love it um, and, and that's always popular um, climb films in Sheffield is, is you know you'd have thought yeah. it used to be really popular less popular now and, and the, you know more, much more popular now is um, uh, Cold War swimming, you know, wild swimming. Oh, really? And bike packing. You know, okay. they're, they're the kind of current on trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trend sports. Yeah. Well, listen, Matt. 
Thank you so much for accepting my film. I'm really pleased that this year, you, you know, we had this conversation and then you, you did, you put, you know, you made, made some of those changes and then the, uh, the judges agreed. It's kind of nice that actually they yeah. actually then gave it an award. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is bizarre. Uh, yeah. I, I hadn't, I hadn't expected that at all. Um, Matt, you, Matt, thank you very much for your for your time. Um, and, thank uh, you for coming up. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, okay, I've just come out of the cinema, having watched uh, "Going the Extra Yard," the backyard ultra story, um, for the first time on a big screen and with an audience as well. Yeah, it was weird. It was we- it was nice. Uh, but weird so I felt uh, I felt a little bit uncomfortable when it first came on and I was desperate for the quality of the film on screen to be to be good Uh, having watched a couple of films before that you know the pristine quality and I was just worried that mine would look all for some reason I just thought mine would look all amateurish and stuff I don't think it did I think it looked fine Um, but there's all those you know there's all those kind of paranoia uh, feelings kind of creep in but then when when the film started I settled in a bit and and once people started to laugh at the right moments in the film I thought okay this is all right and um, I also was worried about people getting up and going out getting up and leaving during it for some reason but no but I think one person got out to the go to the loo and came back people seemed engaged with it so you know and I shouldn't you know I don't know why I was so kind of worried about it because you know it, it won first prize it was the judges watched it and deemed it to be the best running film at the festival so um i don't know why i was particularly worried but it was it was odd uh, watching it um being the director and the filmmaker uh, with with the audience there um, but i'm glad i did i'm glad i came up and i'm glad i i've met matt for the first time uh, having submitted films uh, to Matt at the uh, Sheffield Adventure Film Festival for quite some years. Uh, so there we are, that's it. Right, I'm back here tomorrow uh, to take part in um, a, work, a workshop uh, about filmmaking and to just discuss the film. So we'll come back here tomorrow to do that. Okay, so if we're in Derbyshire, or South Yorkshire. Uh, we can't come here on such a beautiful day without going for a run. So we're gonna go um, up to one of the highest points in the area um, of Kinder Scout and uh, Mam Tor is what we're gonna go. Kinder Scout and Mam Tor. It's about 18 kilometers of running and about 600 meters of elevation. We're gonna try and get that done before it gets dark because it's actually quite late now. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon that I'm starting this. But uh, you know, what the heck? Let's let's go and have a little run and enjoy it because it's such a beautiful, a beautiful place and a beautiful day. So let's get this. Look at that. make our way back down to the path over there where uh, where those rocks are in the distance there so we're going to carry on to the rocks over there and make our way back around uh, to Mam Tor next
and that's Mam Tor just up ahead. Kinder Scout over that direction and Mam Tor, so we've been in a big arc. Lots of people up here, loads of people. Golden hour, the sun's just going down. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that's been absolutely superb. Really, really enjoyed that. 19 kilometers all the way from Edale up to Kinder Scout, round the ridge, all the way over the moors, over to Mamtor, to Holland's Cross, and finishing look here, back where we started, by the car just on the road just out of Edo. Absolutely perfect. Really enjoyed that. And so it's Sunday morning and uh, I've been for my 8k run so I've now done my 100 kilometers for the week. And I'm heading back to the Sheffield Adventure Film Festival at the Showroom Cinema here in Sheffield. I'm, I'm due to take part in a, a workshop about filmmaking, believe it or not. something ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> so we were up for three nights um, and having to film all of this, um, which is why which is why we're here today, because I think if it, if it had just been a 48 hour event, it wouldn't have been quite as exciting. You know, no records would have been broken. It wouldn't have been quite as monumental an event. So was, a lot of it was pure luck that that happened. So that's it, we're all done here. The Sheffield Adventure Film Festival is over for me. It carries on for the rest of the day here, but I've got to get driving back down to Worthing. Good old six hour drive, so I better get on my way. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. A little bit different, and we'll see you for the next film I run. Take care, bye bye.